Hey guys, I hope you guys are staying safe and sound at home. I'm gonna show you some activities and skills that you can be doing alone at home. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to be super comfortable with the volleyball so you can do in your backyard or you can do in front of your house or maybe inside of the house. I don't know if your parents are gonna agree with that. So the first thing that you're doing, I know we've done that before on a Monday night skill night for you guys that join me once a week. So we're just gonna have your right arm completely extended and you're just gonna keep bumping the ball with the one arm. You're gonna try to do that 20 times. After you do 20 times, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna switch to your left arm. And then once you feel like that you can actually have a lot of control, so 20 on your right, 20 on your left, and then you're gonna start alternating. So as you're alternating, you guys can walk around the backyard, or you can walk around your front yard, um, hopefully not inside of your house. And then when you feel pretty comfortable with it, maybe you're gonna ask whoever is around you to ask questions, math questions. So for example, you're gonna be asking me 10 plus three, 13. 10 plus 11, 21. Or if you get a little frisky, two times 20, or 10 times 33. That way you guys know, if you know me, you know that I love multitasking. So whoever is with you can pretty much make you think and play volleyball at the same time. As, as you guys know, volleyball is a game of multitasking. So that's drill number one. All right, the second one that you're gonna do, it's almost like you're hitting overhead, uh, but actually we're gonna go right down here and we're almost gonna be scooping. So we're scooping the ball with the right arm first. So left hand is gonna be holding the ball, the right arm and hand, you're gonna be scooping the ball up. So you wanna scoop it up and then catch it. Scoop it up and catch it. The more the ball is rotating, the better. And you should be able to hear the noise should be the same noise all the time and the ball is gonna be coming back at the right place. Once you feel pretty comfortable with this, you're just gonna keep going. The whole time, oof, it's kinda hard. You're gonna do 20 with the right arm and then you're gonna catch and then we're gonna do the same with the left arm. So right arm is holding the ball, left arm you're scooping the ball. So you're here, scoop it up, here, Scoop it up. As we finish, we finish with the fingers pointing up. Once you feel pretty comfortable with it, again, you're just gonna keep going uh, with the left arm. After 20 times, you're gonna go ahead and alternate. So again, you can walk around your backyard, you can walk around the house, uh, feel comfortable with it. It's almost like an extension of your body. And then if you want to, you can have your friend, your sibling, or anybody asking you questions. Uh, asking you, it can uh, be, it doesn't have to be math equations. It could be, what's your favorite color? Uh, what's your favorite animal? Uh, I don't know, ask them to ask you 10 questions. And as you are alternating the scoop, you're answering the questions without letting the ball drop. That's drill number two. Next one, we're gonna be doing a similar movement that we did on drill number two of scooping, but we're gonna be doing overhand. For this one, you can only do with your dominant hand. If you do wanna try with the non-dominant hand, I know we worked a lot on Monday night skills with that, uh, but I'm just gonna show the dominant hand. So you're here and then you're just throwing overhand and catching, throwing, catching. So I'm just gonna hit it up and I'm gonna try to have that ball with spinning quite a bit. Here spin the ball. Here, spin the ball. Once you feel pretty comfortable, challenge yourself. Try to do 20 again. So you're right here. Making the ball spin. Following the ball. If you want to, again, you can have somebody asking you questions. I'm a big believer in multitasking. So go ahead and try to challenge yourself. That's drill number three. All right, just like any good dance class, we're gonna combine drill one, two, and three, and you're gonna try to just keep repeating the same skills. 
So first one is your right hand, and then you're gonna go to the left hand, and then you're gonna scoop it up, scoop it up, overhand, and then we're gonna go back to the right arm. So it should look like this, so right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. So if you guys can do that 20 times, that's rock star level. So this would be drill number four, combining all of them. All right guys, last drill we're doing, we're gonna be working a little bit of setting and then also on one hand control with the ball. So you just have to try to find a smooth uh, surface and uh, um, so that way the ball doesn't kind of bounce and uh if you know me i'm always going to tell you that the wall never lies for me in this case the fence never lies so however i send the ball to the fence is how the ball is going to come back to me so you're going to send the ball with the right hand first and then you're going to send it with the left hand first and then you're going to go ahead and set and then right hand left hand then set so it should look like this If you can find, in this case, one little line that you can keep sending the ball, it's good. If you have to find a little brick, if you're going to a wall, or if you find a little spot, kind of make that your goal. Oh. Let's keep on the number 20 here. So if you can do, so, this, this, and this counts as one. So if you can do 20, that would be awesome. I hope that helps you guys.